Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to share some interesting facts about Yorkshire Terrier. Keep watching and don't forget to click the bell icon. The Yorkshire Terrier, aka the Yorkie, is the epitome of the toy size canine. It's a dainty thing, typically growing to no more than 7 pounds and no more than 9 inches at the shoulder. Though the teacup pup's considered a purebred, his origin is from crossbreeding. He's a mix from breeders crossing the Clydesdale Terrier and the now extinct Paisley Terrier. The Yorkie may be small, but it's feisty, tenacious, brave and as pushy as a poo gets. They're pretty bold and are a popular breed across the country in both big cities and with urbanites. The Yorkie has all the characteristics of a Terrier. The Yorkie is long-lived and loves being a companion. He's unique, makes a great little watchdog and will definitely keep you entertained. Yorkie puppies and adult dogs have different coloring. They're born tan and black. Over the years, their coat turns blue before the tan goes richer into an almost gold shade. Owning a Yorkshire Terrier, three pros and cons. The Yorkie is constantly in the AKC's top breeds lists. She's a tiny package with a massive personality. Still, ownership doesn't mean you're golden. To balance things out, here are three pros and three cons linked to the dog. First let's talk about pros. Number 1. Sheds very lightly. The lack of hair loss makes the Yorkie one of the best breeds for allergy sufferers. Other dogs you needn't worry about are the Norwich Terrier, Italian Greyhound, and Airedale Terrier. Number 2. Doesn't need a lot of exercise. Unlike a lot of dogs, the Yorkie only needs around 30 minutes of physical activity a day. That's half the time of most canines. Your dog will appreciate a nice walk or a romp around the yard with a toy. Number 3. Potential to be at peace with other pets. In general, the Yorkshire Terrier has no issue with other dogs in the house. If given proper socialization training, these puppies can learn to get along with cats too. Now let's talk about cons. Number 1. Physically fragile. Due to its minuscule size, your mini dog may require close supervision and monitoring. They can be easily harmed. Don't allow your Yorkie to run free in open spaces around others. It's important to watch when they're around small children who may get aggressive in play. Number 2. Easily spoiled. This is not necessarily the fault of the dog. Owners tend to treat the Yorkie like a flower, carrying him around and such. This can lead, on the dog's part, to shrillness, suspicious nature, and even nastiness. Number 3. Housebreaking will be a task. These dogs are famous for their stubbornness and capacity for breaking the rules, especially if they're spoiled. These puppies seriously need early training and a clear understanding of who's boss. Yorkshire Terrier Size and Weight Yorkies tend to be inconsistent when it comes to size. For puppies, a single litter can have one pup weighing 4 pounds while another weighs up to 6 pounds. And, usually, one of those puppies will become a 15-pound adult. On average, these mini pooches will be 8 to 9 inches to the shoulder. They will weigh no more than 7 pounds with 4 to 6 pounds considered the best weight. Yorkshire Terrier Common Health Issues Yorkies are victims of three types of health issues. These are acquired inherited or congenital diseases. Only a few breed-specific conditions are hereditary. Your mini terrier carries these health risks throughout its lifespan. You should talk with breeders or vets early to help with quick diagnosis and treatment. Here are health hazards your puppies may fall victim to. Hypoglycemia. Leg perths. Disease. Skin allergies. Retinal dysplasia. Kneecap. Dislocation. Temperament and behavior. All dogs require early socialization. The Yorkshire Terrier is no different. She needs exposure to varying sights, sounds, people and experiences. Socialization for mini puppies increases the chances she'll be well-rounded and friendly. She'll be a great companion and friend, but you, the owner, have to set the stage. Yorkies need a leader and limits. Early training, when they are puppies, increases the chances to easily correct bad habits later. In the dog world, the Yorkie has a higher than average intelligence. This helps makes her trainable. She is energetic, communicable, and really, really independent. All these traits make for a varying temperament. These mini dogs can also be unfriendly and ferocious. But, again, with appropriate training and socialization, you can curtail this behavior. 
How to take care of the Yorkshire Terrier. Keep up with vet visits as your pooch is a fragile creature. Keep an eye on him if he is particularly small. This could be a sign of some disease or disorder. The pooch has a high energy level and you want to make sure he takes a break. Your poo likes to keep busy and will run all day. That's why your dog needs a little confined space of his own, perhaps an indoor canine playpen. It allows him to rest or maybe take a nap. We can't recommend crates as your pet will get stressed. Gated rooms may work for an adult as long as they aren't too large. Avoid accidents by using pee pads, but don't rely on them as alternatives to house breaking or walks. Food and diet. You have to take care when feeding a Yorkie. Being mini, they don't need a lot of food. They also may not be as active as other dogs. Base their meals on size and activity. The moderately active pooch only needs about 150 calories a day. Split feedings into small meals, up to four a day. Training. Yorkies are inquisitive and smart, so learning is in their nature. They are also independent, consistent, sensible training and leadership will ensure she behaves. If you send her to obedience school, it's important you take all the instructor's suggestions to heart. Under a firm, but positive, hand, the Yorkie is a quick learner. Maintenance and grooming. Yorkies need daily brushing to keep her coat soft, silky, and free of mats, tangles, and debris. The trick is to never brush a dry coat. Dry brushing can break a doggie's fine hair. But you don't have to bathe her first. Just give your poo a spritz. Use a shine conditioner or plain water. After getting the coat damp, safely brush the dog. The occasional professional grooming is always recommended. But if you're doing the haircut at home, talk with your vet, breeders or check out a lot of YouTube videos. While there are plenty of grooming tools, you want the best one for your dog's haircut. Again, this is a discussion with a pro. They'll help you decide if your pet needs a double side comb or rotating pin comb. And make sure you have a nice haircut kit. When you do bathe, don't use a lot of shampoo. Use half the dosage recommended on the product. Double rinse to ensure all shampoo gets washed away. Brush his teeth every day for a few minutes. With routine, the usually stubborn dog's resistance will wane. At the least, brush once a week. You can scrape as well, once per month or twice a year. Exercise. Yorkshires are active, energetic, and love to engage in fun activities. But we as owners must remember these animals are small and fragile. You can't push her to extremes. 30 minutes a day is a good length of time. Don't take her for long runs or bike rides. Stick to a schedule with your doggy. He's smart and mentally prepares himself for getting out. He could even be waiting for you so that he can relieve himself before breaking the rules. He enjoys fetching, frisbee and getting the ball or stick. With his hunting traits, retrieval is a fine sport for the Yorkie. Puppies. If you're looking to get a Yorkie puppy, check out breeders and rescue and shelter operations. Buying one outright may come with a hefty price so give the rescue a chance. Do your research. You're getting a friendly, loving and energetic friend. But you're also getting a dog that's going to need your attention and a firm hand. You'll be responsible for its grooming, its diet and much more. Yorkshire Terrier and Children Younger children should not spend unmonitored time with a Yorkie. Kids can be overly playful and the frail Yorkie can get flustered. She may snap or growl at children who mean her no harm. It's important to have concise boundaries for your pet and children's interactions. Socialization will help a lot, as will training and positive disciplining. That was all about Yorkshire Terrier. Do you like the facts we shared? Let us know on comment section. We hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.